Hello everyone, I'm going to show you how to make this DIY coupling to stop a pinhole leak in a copper valve. I went to Home Depot this morning and they didn't have an all-inclusive package. So I basically came up with my own version and I've got two three-quarter inch clamps. I've got a three-quarter inch coupling and I've also got this gasket material. All these things you can find in the plumbing department. First thing we need to do is a little math and to figure out the circumference of this half inch pipe, which half inch is the inside diameter, the outside diameter is five eighths. So if you wanna go back to some high school math, we're gonna use two um, pi times r. So uh, the radius is going to be one half of five eighths. So we're just gonna do, you know, five eighths is the radius, you know, divided by two times two times pi. And we've already done the calculations it's pretty close to two inches. So we're going to cut the gasket out at two inches. The next thing we're going to do is take one of these three quarter inch copper couplings and cut it in half. And what this is going to do is be able to sandwich this gasket on the outside of the pipe. So this is about an inch and five eighths. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this gasket right at inch and a half. And with the math that we did earlier, so it's gonna be inch and a half by two inches. That way it wraps right underneath. I'm gonna use this as a straight edge. I've got this cutting mat. Now you guys can pretty much use whatever you want. It doesn't have to be perfect. We're just trying to create a seal where the pinhole leak is. That way we don't have to worry about it leaking anymore once we put the clamp on. So that's inch and a half. Now we're gonna cut it two inches. All right, so just like a Band-Aid, we are going to um, take this gasket and put it over where the pinhole link is located. So you can see, imagine that dot right there is the pinhole link. We're basically going to make sure that this goes on top of that, and we're gonna take one half of the coupling and basically form fit it over that. Um, now one thing, uh, the diameter of this is a little bit larger than this part right here, so we're going to trim about a quarter inch off the other coupling so it can fit back on this side. So the next thing we want to do is get two of these clamps slid over this. However, since it's a pinhole link and you still have pressure, water pressure inside, because um, again, you can do all this without having to turn the water off if you, if you choose to do so. But eventually it's going to look like that. But in order to get it um, over the clamp, if you don't, if it's not an open end like this, what you do is basically um, un loosen this enough where you can slide this over it and then basically slide this back in and tighten it. So let's go ahead and put these two on here so you can see uh, what it looks like. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is tighten these a little bit. And the reason we cut that three quarter inch pipe and put it on top of the half inch pipe instead of just using a gasket with this, is this what this is going to do is apply a uniform pressure all the way across it. So if you have that pinhole leak, you tighten this, and again, remember the gasket, the center of the gasket is right on top of that. So as you tighten this, this is going to apply pressure onto the copper pipe, which applies pressure to the gasket, which is going to seal the leak. Now this is very similar to um, if you get one of those DIY kits to install a water line for a refrigerator. This is the, you know, very similar to what they have there. Unfortunately, the reason I had to engineer this is Home Depot and other suppliers that I went to this morning didn't have the parts where I could just um, apply this. I have seen it in the past. So decided to engineer it myself, share it with you guys. And uh, we're going to go ahead and install this on the leak itself and see how it works. So here's where I have the pinhole link in my house. And you can see that it's small amount of mist is coming out and it's dripping down this beam. So I'm gonna go ahead and put, I'm gonna put the gasket over this, tighten it up just like we showed in our shop, and then see if it works. All right, here's a shot of this patch installed at my house. Looks like the plumbing leak has stopped, and we'll monitor this for a few hours to see if we need to tighten it, loosen it, or make any adjustments. Thanks again, and talk to you guys next time. Now keep in mind, what we're doing today is a temporary fix. This is not a long-term solution. If you have multiple pinhole leaks in your pipes, you probably need to get all the pipes replaced.